affiliate promotions, helping this channel to support you. Well, hi folks, uh, as you can see, I'm not really up to doing any woodwork at the moment. Uh, I've got a drip installed, um, nothing too serious, hopefully. It uh, means I can't do any woodwork, but luckily enough, uh, Banggood have sent me some goods to, to have a look at and to review. Now, perhaps three years ago, Banggood didn't have anything that I thought was interesting in their woodworking section. But they've obviously taken a look at the sort of videos I do, and, and they asked if I'd like to try out these particular products, and they got it spot on. These are things that really are interesting for the sorts of, sort of work that I do. So basically, let's get into it. I'll start with perhaps this little machine. This is the uh, Wayne Lux K6 uh, laser engraver. It will cut things like paper and card as well. So if you want to do little puzzles and stuff, it, it can manage that. It won't cut metal. But the one thing I use it for is for marking uh, my furniture and chairs and things like that. It does a great job. I've had one similar to this uh, for a couple of years now and uh, it's never let me down. <laughs> now that I've been sent this one, I should be passing the other one on to a viewer. So a lucky viewer out there somewhere. This one came just in time to mark the end of this wooden scrub plane I've recently made. And hopefully you can see, if the light's good enough, uh, my little logo on the back of there. Well, this is really easy to do. Uh, this machine's quite an upgrade on the, the previous one I've got. Everything you need to do, you can do on your phone. Smartphone, at least. Uh, the one thing I, I had trouble with was actually downloading the app um, using the QR code that came with the machine. That didn't work. But actually finding it on Play Store was really easy. And you can just very easily import pictures, draw pictures, put text in. Uh, let's just take a photograph of something. Boom, just like that. Got a photo. Accept it. And there it is drawn out for you, ready to print. And you can do various different types of print. You can do a cutting print, you can do uh, a burnt engraving print, uh, you can do grayscale prints. So they're normal sorts of functions, and it works really well. Another key feature that I really love about it is it remembers the last thing you've done. So if I haven't got my phone with me, but I've got my logo already in here, which I have, all I need to do is turn it on, press one button, that will draw a track around uh, the area that the logo is going to go in so I can then position it exactly where I want it, which means you can actually tile the same design again and again, get it nice and ordered if you want. Stop that preview, press the button, a little bit longer, and then off it goes doing its little bit of engraving. Simple as that. Now these machines are not fast, that'll take a few minutes to do. So now the press of the button, it'll pause it, start again. So let's just turn that off for now. So that, that's working really well, that will replace my old one and uh, it's a big improvement. Moving on to the next thing, uh, we've probably all seen these sorts of things from Incra. Um, also with rulers and other, other attachments. And they obviously come with a 0.5mm pencil. Excellent, really good. Uh, well, Banggood do equivalent sets of these as well. And I've got the little T-square one here. I've tried it for square uh, in the normal ways that I would do. So using a parallel board, scribing one way, scribing the other and with it set back on its registration marks, it's absolutely spot on. Uh, my eyesight isn't good enough to, to tell if it's out of square. Uh, it it's really, appears to be really accurate, which is great. But it also has adjustment on there, so if you, if you find for any reason it isn't quite right, or maybe you want to put uh, half a degree or so slightly off, you want that little bit of taper, you can adjust it as well. I've compared it with the Incra one for a gauge of steel, and they're both stainless steel, and it appears to be uh, of an identical thickness. 
So I think you get the same sort of wear out of it. All the etchings look uh, very clean as well. And it's very clear to read. So that's a nice bit of kit. Now I've never used one of these before and in fact the protractor which I've had for years uh, I don't remember ever having used that. I've always thought it was a good idea uh, since I saw it in a sale but I've, I've never used it. I think I will be using a T-square a lot more often but uh, I've now put them up behind the bench hung them up there and uh, if I remember and that's why they're on show if I remember I'll be using them. So moving on a little bit found a different way of marking out tails to pins on dovetails. It's not what it's designed for. This is actually uh, a square clamping guide for putting together say butt joints on um, drawers or frames maybe clamping together things like um, the sides of boxes and making sure they're at right angles. So a nice sturdy aluminium square. It's actually marked out one side in metric, the other side in imperial, which may be handy. And it's got a very simple clamping system to it, so you can clamp on the outside of the square and you can also clamp on the inside of the square. Now the maximum capacity I would choose to use in this would be two inches, which gives you a uh, full thread into the, the little nuts on there. Again, I've checked those for square and they're very good as well. So, nice little bit of kit. And lastly, to show you today, uh, planing stops. Now these sorts of things have been around for ages, uh, but more recently these aluminium stops with little circular dogs have, been, uh, have become more popular and this particular one is badged Hong Dewey um, looks very similar to other ones on the market I don't have the right size holes in this bench but I will be putting the right size holes in the $25 bench that I have up in the garage basically you just drop them in then you've got a planing stop you can plane against that all day if you've got a really large piece of stock tabletop or something you know, you can put a couple in uh, basically cover the whole of the bench and you can plane away for your heart's content. A real benefit I think of having two is that you can uh, trap a board into a corner. So if I'm doing a short board here pop those in there I can put my board up into that corner I can plane it this way I can plane it that way and I can plane it at a diagonal and it's not going to move anywhere. Really simple idea. I seem to remember these come in both 19 and I think it's 20 or maybe 22 mil. They seem to be the standard sizes for bench dogs. So that's what I've got. Um, are they any good? Yeah, I think the uh, laser engraver is, is certainly a, a decent machine for the price. Uh, the clamping squares, it's a really basic tool, but actually it, um, once you've used them, I think you, you appreciate how quick uh, you can put things together and how easy the clamping is compared to using other methods. Now, obviously, these are things that you can make in the workshop. You can make them out of wood, MDF. Uh, you can make your own aluminum ones, aluminum ones, or steel ones. Um, but... You know, you basically work out whether the price of them is uh, is worth the time you've put into making them. And the planing stops, they are, I think, great. I've been using these sorts of things for years, absolute years. But uh, my method of doing that would be to use sheets of thin MDF, which I would then place around... Uh, the work I was doing, I might have one over this side of the bench, clamped to the bench, uh, one across the bench here, and that would give me uh, the angle to plane into and stop anything moving around. But again, that's a lot of clamping to get things in place. Works brilliantly, works every time, 
Uh, it's always a good standby, but once the drop, just drop into bench dog holes, it's a lot quicker. And of course the marking out square, which you can use for doing parallel lines, squared lines, just marking out anything down to a quarter of a millimetre in uh, inaccuracy apparently. I'll have to see how I get on with that because as I said before, this isn't something that I've been using generally. I'm normally just a single steel rule guy and uh, well, maybe I'm moving into the next generation and uh, next century I mean, uh, or, or maybe I won't like it eventually, but it certainly does the job and I know from folks I've seen online, uh, on YouTube as well, who absolutely love these sorts of things. So there's another option uh, of where to get them from. That's just a quick round up then of, of what I've been sent to, to show you all. If you like anything here, you want to find out more about it, there are some links uh, in the description below. They will be affiliate links and any money that I raise through that uh, will just go into making more video content here on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be thoroughly reviewing all of these items over the coming month and letting you know whether I'm still as happy with them as I am now. I'm also going to try and get you some discount on these items, so watch out for news on that in my uh, social media posts on Instagram and Facebook, and also in the video reviews.